Hey guys, what's up? What's happening? It's the King of Games 98, and I'm back at it again with another five minute game review. All right, so as you can see on this five minute game review, uh, the game I will be reviewing uh, that I just beat a few minutes ago today is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 for Sony PlayStation 3. Now, up until I started playing this, um, this Ultimate Ninja Storm game, I have never played a Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm game previously until now. And I can definitely say without a doubt, I was really missing out. This game was so good. So good. Okay, so, um, I beat the single player, uh, story mode campaign for... I'm just going to abbreviate for Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. And it started out with, um, uh, cause the, the single player uh, story mode campaign was called Ultimate Adventure, and it was basically just a retelling of the Shippuden anime series, but you play through the game, and it's, you know, through a fighting game. It's because it's a fighting game. Um, and so it started off with Naruto and Jiraiya coming back to the Hidden Leaf Village after the two-year training session, and the game ended after the fight where Naruto goes Sage Mode and fights Pain. Okay, so that's basically how I would sum up the single-player campaign. And it was absolutely great. I loved every freaking minute of it. Um, oh, uh, one thing I want to make sure I mention. Um... I beat every chapter in the single player story mode campaign for Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 except I I found out there was this fragment chapter and basically the fragment chapter is where Sasuke joins the Akatsuki and he fights Killer B and then I guess that's how you unlock the last four characters well I couldn't figure out how to get to that fragment chapter and so I couldn't play it and so I don't have the last four the last four playable characters unlocked. So if anyone watching this video knows how to unlock that chapter and yeah can do that, if you can let me know in the comments below, that'd be great. Much appreciated. Uh, anywho, okay. So now I'm going to use the rest of the time to talk about my thoughts, feelings, opinions, and experience with this game. Okay, graphics of this game. Absolutely loved it. It looked like I was watching the damn anime. Great. Controls. Eh. Didn't really like them, but we're going to get to that a little bit later. Uh, music. Absolutely loved it. Freaking got me hype as shit in, in heated battles. Um, characters. Same. Just aged a little bit more. Uh, characters from the original series. Absolutely loved them. And, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so I have only a few minor, minor teensy-weensy, teensy-weensy problems with this game. Okay, number one. Um, the controls. I didn't like the, the controls that the game pre-selected uh, that you used to, like, jump, attack, and charge chakra. I didn't like how the button layout was. And I know, I'm sure a lot of you are saying you can just change them in the options mode. And I I did have that option to do it, but I chose not to because I just grew accustomed to it. So yeah, I didn't like the buttons uh, for the moves that they selected previously. Um, I experienced some really bad hit, uh, some button lag. Like I would go to block and I'd be, I keep getting hit and I wouldn't block. I wasn't too happy with that. And last but not least, when a character was talking and you heard their voice, the voice didn't sync up with the character's uh, mouth movement. But, you know, again, really small minor things. Um, other than that, absolutely loved the game, loved the experience. I can't wait for Bandai Namco to remake the Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm trilogy for next-gen consoles. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this 5-minute game review. And we're going to end this with my final rate for Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. And for Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, my final rate is going to be an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.